Hey guys, on this video I'm going to teach you how to get ready for the new OS X, okay? Now there have been a few problems with it, right now I'm downloading it. Um, I already had it installed, the beta version, and then it went back to Mavericks, so this is why I'm making this video. To show you how you can go back to Mavericks, just in case, and also how to get ready. So basically, it's really simple. How you got to get ready is actually going to your updates, so first of all, go to your app store. And do all the updates that you have to okay so these are ones that I did kind of recent okay so have those updated first and then download and do the upgrade okay so the upgrade you will see up here um, it's totally free so you don't have to pay anything so don't worry about that also um, time machine time machines more important than you think so if you ever want to go back to Mavericks just because your uh, some of your programs might not work with the new OS X that happens a lot of people a lot of my subscribers actually have gone back to Matrix just because they've been having a lot of issues with the new OS X. Anyways, um, so to go back, okay, make your time machine backup, okay? You can use any external hard drive that you got. You can format it to work with time machine, okay? So I have a separate video that shows you how to do that. I have uh, even another video that shows you what type of hard drive you should buy um, but anyways you can use any external hard drive you can even use a USB stick but that's gonna be that's gonna take forever it's gonna be really 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 slow so I would suggest buy an external hard drive that's not the passport size ones because those those are kind of slow as well they're not that slow they're still a lot faster than a USB drive but they're not as fast as you know the heavy duty uh, external hard drives that you have to plug into an electrical output as well as to your computer okay so I, I would suggest doing that okay um, apart from that always have your time machine just in case something goes wrong okay let's say your computer shuts down your electricity goes out or something you have an iMac and you're updating it will kind of screw up the whole thing okay so you will have to um, run some things go to this utility and do a whole thing in order to get your matrix back and your programs and everything okay so just in case something goes wrong have your time machine I cannot stress this enough time machine it's pretty good um, also don't think that just time machine well you don't know what it's doing how you can get it started um, basically time machine is one of these okay this one external hard drive these three discs that you see here I just made three partitions of it okay here's my time machine Okay, so once you have it uh, set up, it should look something like that, okay? Now, on Time Machine, um, to go back in time, I have a separate video that shows you how to go back to Mavericks, just in case you guys want to go back. But that's how you get your computer nice and ready in order to upgrade safely, and just in case you want to go back, you can, okay? So that's it for this video. Remember, to go to your App Store, you can click on Free Upgrade. It's going to start downloading like this. At least have 5 gigs of um, space on your computer, which you really should have at least 10 gigs, just because computers will run smoother if you have a bit of space in there. If you have it all cramped out, it will run pretty slow. So you will see that difference if you have your computer almost full or basically full the whole way all the time um, you will see that it, it runs pretty slow so at least have 10 gigs 10 gigs isn't much for a computer um, but that's what external hard drives are for if you have a lot of movies put those movies onto your external hard drive okay so that's it for this video if you guys have any questions comments please write them here below and don't forget to subscribe and rate thank you